Hello everybody, welcome to this workshop video where we're going to be looking at sculptures from the Ferrans Art Gallery collection. My name's Dom and I'm going to be showing you how to make a sculpture based on the work of artist Lynn Chadwick. Now before we begin, just a little bit of information about Lynn Chadwick. So Lynn Chadwick was born in 1914 in West London and he's really famous for these kind of sculptures that are part human but part shapes as well. These are examples of some of his later work and this is what we're going to be looking at during this workshop. In particular this piece of work which is called Maquette for the Watchers and it was made in 1961. Now a maquette is kind of like a model, a model for a larger sculpture. Chadwick produced a lot of these maquettes because he trained as an architect and that's kind of the way an architect might work. Often an architect would build a small model before thinking about a structure large scale. You can also see the influence of architecture in these figures. Chadwick would often build what's called an armature, which is a bit like a skeleton underneath the sculptures, something to support the shapes. So here's our list of things that we need. Don't worry if you haven't got all of these things. You could maybe use a shoebox lid if you haven't got a sheet of cardboard. And if you haven't got any garden sticks, you could maybe just use some straws, but you might need to tape them together to make them stronger. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna talk you through each stage of the process. Okay, so stage one is making the body. I've got my piece of cardboard which is about A3 size and I'm going to roughly draw a rectangular shape. I'm really not too worried about this being perfectly rectangular because Lynn Chadwick sculptures certainly aren't perfectly rectangular. With the first shape that I've cut out, I'm then going to draw around that shape so that I get two shapes that are very similar. This is going to be the front and the back of the body. So next we're going to think about the legs and the neck. Here you can see we've got our garden sticks. Different sizes. If you haven't got any garden sticks, as I mentioned before, maybe just use some straws instead. But you might have to tape them together in order to make them strong enough for this job. So as we've said, we've got different lengths of garden sticks. We've got a long garden stick, a shorter garden stick, and then we've got these two that are a similar length. They're about 15 centimetres long, and we're going to start off using those as the first two legs, and we're simply going to tape those to the body. So next we'll pick up our shorter stick. This is about 10 centimetres long and this is going to be our neck. And we'll take that to the body in the same way that we did the first two legs. The 
then we're going to get our other section of the body and we're kind of going to sandwich the legs between the back and the front. So next we're going to make our back leg. Now this is quite important because this is going to be the main support for your sculpture. So as you can see I've got my long piece of garden stick which is about 20 centimeters long and I've got a piece of card and I've made a kind of T shape and I'm just going to tape the stick to the card and then I'm going to tape the card to the back of the sculpture. We're doing it like this because it then creates an angle so that the sculpture will stand up. So we're going to try and make our head in a pyramid shape and to do this I'm going to draw again roughly a triangle. This triangle is no more than about seven to nine centimeters tall. Once I cut the triangle out, I'm then going to draw around the triangle, just like we did with the body, to create two more triangles. So this is our slightly tricky bit, it's just because it's a little bit fiddly. What we're going to try and do is stick our three triangular shapes together to form a pyramid. So you're going to get a bit of tape and put it down the side, attaching it to two sides of two triangles. Try and leave enough room so that you can fold the two triangles back in on each other. Then attach your third triangle and fold them all together. Finally add another piece of tape just to hold the structure in place and then you've got your pyramid. So you've now got your Lynn Chadwick head and you can just pop that on the neck. You want to see a little bit of the neck. So if your neck isn't long enough you can always add a bit more stick or straw. So I'm just using a grey and a black to do the first coat for painting my sculpture. I'm going to put some more details on it in a little while. Since there are three different sculptures in the Lynn Chadwick sculpture that we've been looking at, I made two other maquettes with different shaped heads and I thought of them as a kind of family and I'm going to use that idea 
to help me to decorate them. For my design, I'm painting a little undercoat here in bright white paint. I'm going to leave that to dry and then paint on top of it so that my design and my colours are nice and bright. Thinking about the sculptures as a, a small family, I thought about what members of a family might like to do and perhaps this particular person likes to watch television. So that's what inspired this design, there's kind of like a TV screen on the belly. So maybe for your designs you can think about what your friends and family are interested in or what they like to do. Here's my first sculpture finished. And here's the rest of them finished. Well, I hope you've enjoyed doing this workshop. I hope you've learnt a few new techniques and learnt a bit about the sculptures of Lynn Chadwick. I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.